we have seen that cloud has three modules software as service platform as service infrastructure as service whenever you are offering a software over an internet we call them as software as service like gmail email software crm software banking software any type of application that you host or that you host over an internet we call them as software as service right any type of software you provide over an internet we call them as software as service right not installable one i give you example of vlc player yesterday so if you can review that that'll be good so software as service now let's proceed the next one called as platform as service so take a note start writing platform as service what is a platform as service write down delivery of a computing platform 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 right in the bracket in the bracket development testing deployment hosting in the bracket development platform testing platform deployment platform hosting platform and application designing platform in a bracket delivery of a platform bracket development testing deployment hosting and app designing bracket close over an internet over an internet is called platform as service is called platform as service platform is called platform as service example example force.com from salesforce example force.com from salesforce number 2 microsoft azure number 3 amazon web service salesforce is a platform as service what is the salesforce provides you a development platform what type of platform salesforce provide you a development platform do you need to install anything no because it's a cloud it's a cloud platform so i don't need to install anything it's a cloud platform i don't need to install anything right so whenever you offer any type of platform a development platform a testing platform right a deployment or a hosting platform a web designing platform where you can you can you can start doing a web designing programming such type of offering over an internet that means you don't need to install if you want to do a dot net program you have to install what microsoft visual studio is it a cloud no because you have to install tomorrow you forget your laptop you go to your friend's house you want to do some development you cannot use your friend laptop because in your friend laptop you doesn't have microsoft visual studio install hence it is not a cloud whereas in salesforce right no installation required wherever you are whichever system you are using whether you are using a laptop whether you are using a phone whether you are using a tablet you just need to have an internet connection log into force development environment and start developing the software this is where you will spend most of your time this is what i'll be teaching you live platform as service from salesforce a development platform for salesforce so whenever you offer any type of platform over an internet we call them as platform as service next write down infrastructure as service 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 i a a s where a double a is small it's in lower camel i 
upper case upper camel s upper case upper camel i a a s write down offering of an infrastructure or a hardware offering of an infrastructure or a hardware or a hardware over an internet over an internet is called infrastructure as service is called infrastructure as service full stop also called as hardware as service 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 so what is infrastructure as service it is one of the module of cloud what does this module explains you whenever you are offering any type of hardware like what like memory storage cpu networking virtualization processing you can write example example what storage 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 memory cpu processing network equipments security equipments right like storage memory cpu processing network equipments right network equipments security equipments server space all this comes under infrastructure as service infrastructure as service right example google drive example google drive what is the google drive it's infrastructure as service what's it providing you it's providing you a storage 15 gb storage example ibm smart cloud example right ibm smart cloud emc cloud i'm giving you more examples they offer you storage right right they offer you storage rupam question comes okay how can you offer a memory over an internet ram how can you offer a cpu over an internet right processor can i yes why not right suppose example i'll go with the memory first you have got a game cd some game right to install that game you require 6 gb of ram minimum requirement you require right 100 gb of space and 6 gb of ram in your laptop you have 2 gb ram you have the hard drive your hard drive is 1 tb so no problem the only thing that you don't have at this moment is ram what will you do what you can do you have to go to the market buy a ram a 4 gb slot open the laptop insert your memory became 6 gb now go ahead and install the game you start playing it you didn't like it oh man i purchased with 2000 rupees i purchased a 4 gb ram totally waste see just because of the game you purchased a 4 gb ram slot a hardware from the market right if you would have known that game is waste you would have not even invested the 2000 rupees you would have been fine with 2 gb ram but now because right because of the you didn't realize you went ahead your investment is gone waste why can't i take a ram for one day two day rent anybody will give you in the market no can i take it over a cloud yes yes you can buy ram over a cloud rupam how can you get a ram over a cloud right you go to amazon e2c platform elastic services there 
you can buy 16 GB of RAM, just 64 rupees a month. 64 rupees a month. 64 rupees. What is 16 GB for 64 rupees? Wow. You go, open your account. You go ahead and pay. You select 16 GB RAM. You click next. Payment gateway. You pay with your credit card or debit card. Once your order is through, it will ask you to download a small piece of software. And right, and small piece of ActiveX control. It will ask you to download. You download it. It get installed. It will ask your system to reboot. You reboot your system. Physically, you have only two GB guys. Right on a cloud, you just brought 16 GB. You reboot your system. As soon as your system is connected to internet, immediately, if you right click on your computer, you'll be able to see 18 GB of RAM. 2 GB physically on your laptop or your computer, 16 GB virtually on the cloud server. That means whenever you are installing the game or you're playing the game, right? Whenever the RAM is full, 2 GB is full, the remaining data, it will start writing in the cloud. Condition is that you should have a high speed internet. You should have a 40 Mbps connection minimum so that, you know, system goes ahead and write the data in the cloud. Right? See how I can offer a memory over an internet. This is called as infrastructure as service. After one, after paying one month, you didn't like the game. Go ahead, discontinue your subscription. What memory subscription? 64 rupees is gone. You're back to 2 GB memory. Your laptop has a physical 2 GB memory. You're back to the 2 GB memory. You just lost 64 rupees compared to 2000 rupees. By taking what? By taking RAM over a cloud. Similarly, those who are doing engineering projects, right? R&D research space research i'm very much in interested in space space rocket development everything right will this processor i have written a program intel processors i right or intel pentium processors or i processors are not that great i want to try something called xeon processor if somebody has heard or not in the service we do use a high level processor called a xeon 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 processor right whenever you want to buy a xeon processor it's too costly if you go and buy a xeon system in the market it will cost you three lakhs minimum minimum it will cost you three lakhs i'm a, i'm a project person right i'm a student can i invest three lakhs for my project nobody's funding me why can't i take a system rent over an internet through cloud, through cloud. That means I will go to EMC. I will request 3000 rupees per month, some change cost. That's okay. You will pay 3000 rupees. Immediately, they will give you a virtual login. As soon as you click on it, right? You log into emc.com, enter username and password, pay 3000 rupees. Your product is activated. You click on the product. It opens up a desktop. One computer inside on your web browser and another computer will be opened. In that computer, you can now dump the program, run your program, right? Do the experiment and now take the result, right? The system is for you for one month. You can access them virtually. You don't need physical physical box at your home. It's somewhere in the cloud and you are access accessing them through EMC cloud, such type of offering a computer processing memory over an internet, we call them as infrastructure as service. Infrastructure by this, right? What is happening? What is the advantage? Number one, cost saving. Number two, your electricity bill saving because the server is not yet to your home. Number three, space saving. You need not to have a AC, you need not to have one server room with you know the server maintenance nothing you are just paying and using it just log in emc 
with your password and the way you see your start menu you'll be able to see start menu there you do the programming run the program it runs on the cloud such type of offering and infrastructure over an internet we call them as infrastructure as service also called as hardware as service any questions guys any questions any questions Right. In cloud, if there is a somebody has asked a question here, Vishwajit, right? Right. In cloud, if there is a virus, right, who will handle it? Service provider. All security, everything is not your headache. It's a service provider headache. It's an EMC headache. If it's Salesforce, it's Salesforce headache. That is the reason I'm saying as service. Software as service. Right? You are buying a software, but not as a product. You are buying as a service. If you buy as a product, then everything is your headache, right? You buy a Microsoft Office, or let's say that you buy, you know, a software. What? An antivirus software. Let's say that you buy a not an antivirus software. You install it. It's giving error. You call Norton. They will say, "Sorry, sir, it's a Windows problem. Call Windows." You call. You call Microsoft. Microsoft says, "Hey, our operating system is working fine." It is your not an antivirus problem. Go ahead and contact them. If I say, hey, my system crash backup, nobody will help you. Neither Microsoft, neither Norton. Because you have purchased as a product. That is the reason in cloud we say as service, as service, as service. Software as service. That means you will just use it. All maintenance, backup, 24 by 7 availability right everything upgrades completely the vendor headache i will just come and use and i'll go away platform as service hosting the platform everything database everything is their headache who's headache force.com salesforce headache whenever you are taking any infrastructure who's headache emc's headache hp's headache hp they are providing you the data center, maintenance of the data center, upgrades, availability, power, AC, everything is their headache. That is the reason we call them as as service. You are not buying anything on the cloud as a product. You are buying everything as a service. Understood now, Vishwajit? Is it clear? Any other questions? Cloud uh, has, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, can you give me an example of network equipment? How can that be provided? As a yeah, right. Cisco. Cisco provides a lot of networking routers, switches, right? Networking routers, switches, right? All these networks, routers, and switches will be in the Cisco. It will be in the Cisco environment somewhere in Malaysia. I will not have the physical device at my location in my office. All my office traffic will be routed to the Cisco server in Malaysia through an input screen, through an application screen. They will give you the complete application screen and then on that router, you can start controlling. Nobody can open Facebook. For my office, nobody should be able to open Facebook in the router or in the fire in the router i'll put a firewall and i'll block it where is the router router is actually a physical device the but even though the physical device but it's controlled through an application so all these networking devices can be somewhere in some other location hosted by someone else and it'll be used by you by your company that router is 24 by 7 available right no network down no power problem in your office, there's a power fluctuation. Network goes down, right? Wherever you know you are placing your servers, networking switches, right? You require an AC and everything. Now you see, I'm taking security system, a router, right? A gateway, a firewall, firewall device, which is not at my location. It is at Cisco's location. I can start taking it, right? For example, IP calls in my office i have all ip phones avaya ip phone let's take very famous 
those who know well and fine those who don't know these are telephones they don't work on a normal telephone cable rj11 no they work on networking cable on the telephone you can connect your network cable ip phone we call them as where this all ip phone will be connected to to a big gateway where is that gateway it can be with cisco you have taken rather than buying a complete gateway and router and installing in your location is very costly affair no i don't want to invest you know 2.5 crores or 10 crores i will just go by monthly monthly 10000 for 100 phones cisco is offering yes i can i can afford this a small company can also afford infrastructures over cloud using cloud services all the big big companies especially the small companies are very much benefited because they need not to have all those devices in their office complete device maintenance is vendor headache they are just paying the subscription and using the services hence we call them as as service clear any other questions anybody have any questions guys as i told you for the two days today is the last day for your boring session tomorrow onwards we will be on full-fledged practical i told you yesterday only right two or two or three days we would be on theoretical part once the theory is done right we will focus because these are the basics i can't avoid it right so cloud has three modules software as service platform as service infrastructure as service simple whenever you offer a software over an internet we call them as software as service whenever you offer any type of platform over an internet we call them as platform as service whenever you offer any hardware over an internet we call them as infrastructure as service on the infrastructure platform lies on the platform softwares are created you can see the diagram here so for every for pass for pas platform as service infrastructure as service is required if there is a platform then only you can create a cloud software salesforce has all the three it has infrastructure as service but as a developer we access only what you see application developer we access platform as service whatever the software that we are building will be used by whom by the end user finally they will be using it you are building and software for apollo hospital who will be using the software apollo employees nurse receptionist doctor they will be accessing software as service development will be done by you where on platform as service on the platform as service where this platform as service is hosted it is hosted on cloud infrastructure cloud infrastructure so that this is how your cloud module works cloud module works clear anybody has any questions before i move to the next topic any questions guys before i move to the next topic that's cut guys remember that you're not here for what you're what i'm teaching you're here for what you're learning if you're not able to understand please call it out don't keep quiet right now let's go to the next topic write down cloud deployment models cloud deployment models cloud deployment models cloud deployment models how the clouds are deployed there are four deployment models number one private cloud number two community cloud number three public cloud number four hybrid cloud there are four types of deployment mo mode or modules models there are four types of deployment models available deployment mode or model whatever you call it. four types of deployment mode or 
models what are those number one private cloud number two community cloud number three public cloud number four hybrid cloud there are four right now let's put a side heading called as private cloud let's understand what is a private cloud write down private cloud there will be a lot of i mean today and only today you'll have writing works tomorrow onwards less writing work more on practical right so write down private cloud right cloud infrastructure cloud infrastructure deployed for a single organization cloud infrastructure deployed for a single organization right single organization for their internal usage is called public cloud for their internal usage is called public cloud for their internal usage is called public cloud what is a public cloud whenever a cloud is deployed for one company use for that company use only we call such type of cloud as private cloud a private cloud can be software software meant only for one company it could be platform right cloud platform only for one company it could be infrastructure only for that company and employee such type of clouds are called as private cloud in other word you have seen there are three modules three modules four models cloud has three modules what are those three modules software as service platform as service infrastructure as service what are the modes private cloud community cloud public cloud hybrid cloud in private right what is a private cloud a cloud whenever i say cloud cloud has three modules private cloud is a cloud where the cloud is meant only for one company single company for their own usage we call them as public cloud sorry private cloud we call them as private cloud for example my company my internal hr application is on cloud my yearly performance review my yearly targets right my yearly my year planning my career planning everything we do in an internal hr software this software is on cloud who can access only my company employees what type of cloud it is it is a software service it's an hr software is it for public no is it for others no it is only meant for our company such type of clouds are called as private cloud cloud where right it is only meant for a single organization for their own internal use we call them as private cloud a private cloud can be software cloud it can be platform cloud it can be infrastructure cloud example right example software cloud icsa bank software it is available to anyone no it is only for icsa bank even though icsa bank and hdfc bank are in the same business right both will both have a same software requirement whatever the requirement is there in icsa bank the same thing the requirement will be for even for hdfc bank for all the bank in fact but is it that all the banks are using a same software no icsa bank has their own cloud right hosted in mumbai from there 
all the branches of icsa bank are connected the software the banking software is accessible only to internal icsa bank employees they have their own security they have their own storage they have their own infrastructure they have a complete control over that cloud such type of clouds are called private cloud cloud meant for a single company for their own usage is called private cloud right now private cloud private cloud can be deployed in two modes on site private cloud outsource private cloud now icsa bank is it it company no does it know how to handle the networking infrastructure no what will it do right it will give the control to an it company infosys tcs tcs will be hosting the cloud for icsa bank where either in the icsa bank environment or it will be in the tcs environment but that particular server is completely dedicated to icsa bank such type of hosting an application with an outsource partner hosting a cloud with an outsource partner is called outsource private cloud if a company doesn't have a capability of hosting a cloud it outsource the cloud to vendor however who will have the complete control icsa bank even though the cloud is not in their premises it is an IC, it is an infosys or tcs premises but yes still it will be complete their control even though it's hosted in tcs we will pay you the rent hosting charge we will prov- we will give you the maintenance charge but the complete 100% control is with icsa bank such type of clouds are called as outsource private cloud Suppose one the cloud question. yes one question sorry so the whole idea about cloud is we don't have to host right i mean uh, it's not that it's not that the whole idea of cloud is one of the point is to not to host another point is that device and location independence yeah right so so there hmm. there, there is a cloud called hr cloud i doubt whether my data would be you know breached my company is hosting the cloud within their premises we call them as on site private cloud what type of cloud my company is hosting hr application for whom for all the employees of the company right where what is the advantage then rupam they can access that hr application for mobile phone from pc laptop within office outside office right the main aim of cloud is device and location accessibility if you remember the cloud definition what is the definition right availability of a computing resource over an internet irrespective of device and location my primary point is device and location any device i should be able to log in any location i should be able to log in that's the primary concern it's not whether it's hosted within the company or no it is hosted by a vendor big companies have for example coca cola billions and billions transaction why the coca cola will host right why the coca cola will host their application distributor application on hcl system in the hcl office right can't they create a big building can they hire 50 you know it resources in coca cola and maintain the cloud by themselves yes they are capable enough to do that they have enough money to do this all the global 500 companies you take any big companies of the world right they have enough money to do that right even though they are not in it coca cola is not it business but right they can have a on site private cloud cloud which is within the premises of coca cola company maintained by coca cola handled by coca cola everything and the usage is also by coca cola coca cola employees are using it let's say their distributors are using it such type of cloud whether it's a software whether it's a hardware whether it's infrastructure we call them as private on site private cloud whenever the cloud is hosted within that company 
who is using it whoever is using and the cloud is also in their environment we call them as on site private cloud right whenever the company doesn't have a capability no kokula says no let's not take this headache separate building i have to hire it person maintenance separate no we are not it giants we are i will hire a sales manager rather than hiring an it manager let's outsource the it to hcl we are willing to pay salesforce to host our cloud salesforce promised that it will be a private cloud no breach they have given us a commitment we trusted we use it for a month and we trusted that yes it's correct such type of clouds are called outsource private cloud cloud which is not hosted within the premises of the company who is using it but it hosted on a vendor's location or a vendor's infrastructure we call them as outsource private cloud clear this cloud is also called as internal cloud or on premises cloud mostly these are in, called as internal cloud because these clouds are used only for the internal employees no external people will interact with this cloud it could be software it could be hardware it could be anything infrastructure only internal employees also called as on premises cloud mostly this will be i'll not say mostly nowadays we have both the scenarios if a company is capable they will use right for example let's take example of private one more private cloud bahubali movie everybody has heard about it how much is the movie costed 300 crores most of the movie work is a animation vfx vfx animation where this animation was done it took one year for them to animate those movies frame by frame colors and everything right from the waterfall everything they have to animate where in prasad lab where is the prasad lab it's in banjar jubli hills jubli hills prasad lab all the movie work is done suppose there was a fire broke out in prasad lab everything is burnt to ashes what happened now your 300 crore worth movie has gone for dogs and cat do you think prasad will take that risk no prasad will say we want a cloud all the movies all the work done should be stored in a cloud where does the prasad have the capability of hosting a cloud no rajmouli the director decides the producer and director decides we are not it giants we don't know but i know that tomorrow if there is an earthquake and the and, and the lab collapse my whole movie is gone right i can't take a risk he will take a private cloud where he will contact hp emc microsoft right hey microsoft i want a secure location in place what do you want to store i want to store some avi or movie data hd huge data how much space you require i require 50 tb then they said okay we'll be charging you 5 lakh a month 10 lakh a month for how many year how for what is it to me we require for 1 lakh right he will give 1 crore to microsoft 300 crores movie can't he spend 1 crore for saving the movie all the work who is hosting the cloud now it's a storage cloud microsoft is hosting for whom only for prasad only for prasad employees prasad lab employees all the work that they are doing they are storing in their local machine as well as they have there is automatic software which is syncing their storage to the cloud tomorrow building collapses no problem my movie is stored In, in a cloud it is vendor microsoft who takes the responsibility whatever happen let this earth collapse the whole earth vanishes i promise you that your data will be secure we are copying your data in the space right could be multiple geo location your data will be copied Mal malaysia one copy immediately internal from malaysia one more copy is going to singapore from there one more copy storing in us Three three copies. Who is doing it? Microsoft is doing it because he promised Prasad that 24 by 7. Whenever he wants his data, he should be able to give because they are financing the cloud. 
such type of clouds are called as outsource private cloud where prasad lab has outsourced the cloud to third party vendor right now what are the properties write down properties or characteristics of a private cloud number 1 heterogeneous infrastructure heterogeneous infrastructure you have to use these words exactly in the interview guys tell me how do you know it's a private cloud whenever you have a heterogeneous infrastructure it's a private cloud what is an heterogeneous separate different different right for prasad prasad says no i don't want my server to be shared with some other company i want a separate server for my prasad we call them as heterogeneous infrastructure customized and tailored policy who will log in i will decide which dis- which device should log in i will decide anybody any prasad employee logging from windows 7 cannot log in minimum requirement is windows 10 custom policy so that custom policy in that machine you should have a not an antivirus prasad trust only not an not macafi the requirement whichever device i am not saying that you have to log in only from office at your home also but your home laptop should have windows 10 should have a not an antivirus then only you will be able to connect to the prasad lab see customized and tailored policy their own policies right why only macafi why not not oh sorry why only not an why not macafi that is also very popular antivirus who are you to tell me my my cloud my server i am paying the money my decision yes i love not an customized and tailored policies dedicated resources separate server separate router everything dedicated mostly in house infrastructure mostly in house within the office premises mostly end to end control right prasad lab will have end to end control on that cloud even though it's hosted in microsoft data center but prasad has end to end control such type of cloud is called private cloud whenever a cloud whether it's a software whether it's a hardware whether it's a storage or infrastructure hosted for one particular company use we call them as private cloud private cloud can be deployed in two mode on site off site on site is called on site private cloud off site is called outsource private cloud clear anybody has any questions everybody clear any questions right guys able to understand yes yes right others interesting or boring interesting yes, sir interesting <laughs> so if even if it's boring just interesting just, even if you feel that ah it's all boring so but in interview perspective these questions do come if you just type in google salesforce interview question you will have what is a private cloud what is the properties of a private cloud these are the properties or characteristics of a private cloud right what type of cloud have you implemented in salesforce was it a private cloud right so is it a salesforce a private cloud no is it a what type of cloud salesforce offers software and platform okay does it offer is it a private cloud how the deployment is done privately no it's a community now let's understand the next one called as next type or this mode yes rupa i have a question here yeah please go ahead see all the banking industry is okay uh, that you must be knowing they are very mm-hmm. reluctant to share the data and put the data on the cloud right Correct. because their client is very important and then every in, infrastructure in terms of you know money wise transaction is happening mm-hmm. so uh, salesforce is good for them as of now uh, because i know the people yes. are now slowly moving in because they are hiring a private cloud right you so are you are there a... in my demo class were you on the demo class no i'm actually today i just joined first actually oh, so that's my the reason. 
okay so okay, my I first question sorry sorry, sorry for that sorry for that okay uh, my question to is that the private cloud who will be paying the money for that uh, salesforce will be paying the money or maybe the client has to pay the money see there's a bank or hdfc bank and they decided to implement salesforce okay currently they were on premises everything okay now they wanted to go on cloud so you said that they will have a private cloud and okay by mean that then who will uh, pay the money should hdfc pay obviously, the money to maintain the cloud right obviously hdfc has yeah. to pay why sales okay. was so in that course is the vendor in that case okay but in that case my existing infrastructure is already maintained by myself okay then why should i pay uh, to you know to maintain our cloud which is provided by salesforce i can maintain my legacy application everything infrastructure in my machine itself right where i can then why have are you it coming to cloud then you are you are contradicting your own statement if ha, you would so like to what... use your legacy then don't ha. move to cloud if you want to move to cloud you have two okay. choices whether you want to maintain no. the inf- wait, wait 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 okay, okay. if you want okay. to if you want to move to cloud you have two choices are you a cloud expert if yes host your own cloud within their environment host your okay. own cloud no i'm okay. not a cloud expert then right i have to take support of someone let's take salesforce salesforce doesn't offer on site private cloud it doesn't offer no if you are coming to salesforce it has to be right outsource private cloud that means hdfc bank it's dedicated private but all the resources would be hosted by salesforce and salesforce is going to maintain everything right the bank okay. right the bank has to trust that is the reason you should have gone to my right uh, you know here big big banks big big banks right mm-hmm. are with salesforce today are with salesforce okay. franklin templeton salesforce your american express salesforce just a couple of them i'm showing you right american okay. express salesforce right western union money transfer salesforce you see that barclays it's on salesforce okay barclays okay. is not a small bank right mm. american express right, right. on salesforce see western union money transfer on salesforce there are more these are all mm. their banking industry they are they okay. have now hosted their cloud their banking cloud see american express redefining for 21st century with salesforce they are coming out from that feeling that if the server is within my premises then only it's safe and secure if the you know server is at salesforce it's not safe and secure it's not safe and secure come out of that mentality 21st generation it has grown expanded right you okay. are not an it American Express is not an IT company it's a banking company focus on banking leave the IT to the expert right leave the IT okay. to the expert okay. and that's how the future of cloud is growing now right see okay these are big, okay these are not small financial institution guys these are big financial institution they are trusting salesforce so you cannot right uh, question salesforce integrity today right okay yes got okay. got it got it thank you right welcome any other questions now next cloud write down the next heading community cloud community cloud community cloud what is a community cloud write down cloud infrastructure or solution cloud infrastructure or solution shared by several organization cloud infrastructure or solution shared by several organization for a common purposes or need for a common purposes or need is called community cloud is called community cloud is called community cloud is called community cloud example government departments universities banks etc we took a bank example so let's continue a banking example you have an account in icsa bank you want to transfer a money to your brother who has account in hdfc bank you have an option called imps as well as neft in india those who know how can you transfer an amount from an icsa bank to hdfc bank both are using a different software right 
ICC Bank has have its own private cloud. SGC Bank is have their own cloud. Is the cloud is talking to each other? If yes, how many banks are there in India? Right? Keep on counting. More than 30, 40 banks are there. That means all the 30, 40 should talk to each other. I say should talk to HDFC to talk. It should talk to Access. It should talk to you know Andhra Bank. It should talk to you know Oriental Bank of Commerce. It should talk to SBI. It should talk to right. See, is it all the banks has same requirement? Yes. Similarly, Andhra also has to talk to ICICI, right? HDFC, Access, right? Mahesh Bank, right? Inadu Cooperative Bank. So many banks are there. Cooperative banks are also there. Right. Similarly, Inadu Cooperative Bank also has to talk to others. Everybody has the same requirement. Right. It's not a matter of ICC Bank requirement now. It's a matter of whole banking industry requirement. Then a new cloud comes called as Community Cloud. This cloud is hosted by RBI. Reserve Bank of India is hosting the cloud called Community Cloud. In this Community Cloud, all the banks in India are connected. Whenever you are transferring a money from ICICI Bank, the money is not going directly to the HDFC. You are transferring money from ICICI to HDFC. How does it goes? ICICI Bank will forward the money request to a community cloud hosted by RBI. RBI will in turn pass the money request to HDFC Bank, and the amount get credited in your account. It get debited from your other account. Whenever you have a common requirement, we call them as community cloud. It's a private cloud, but private cloud, n private cloud, number of private clouds coming together to form a sharing of data for their common purposes, we call them as community cloud. Community cloud. Universities, another example, right? Those who have written MSET, those who have written PG set, one year M set will be hosted by Usman University. Next year, M set will be hosted by Kakata University. Next year, do you know this? It's not that one university hosts host the entrance exam every year. No. One one university under the Hyderabad local area, right? Under the Telangana local area. How many universities are there? Seven in universities are there. All the university perform same business? Yes. Everybody is offering BSc, BCom, graduation course? Yes. More or less syllabus is same. There are also three years degree, here also three years degree. Everything, their nature of business is same, right? If somebody from Usman University passed out, want to join in Kakati University, how do you verify their certificates? Today, there is no such option, manual. You have to send a request to Kakata University. Is it the certificate genuine? Kakata will respond. Yes, it's genuine. Right? That is the reason in the new education policy, which was introduced by the BGP government just a month back, not even a month back, two weeks back, new education policy coming up. UGC will host a community cloud. University Grant Commission of India will host a community cloud. All the university's clouds will be connected to the UGC community cloud. So that universe, right? Each university has their own control over their own cloud. The master cloud is the community cloud. Everybody's cloud will be connected to the community cloud. Such type of deployment where collection of private cloud coming together to form a community is called community cloud. Private clouds, it's a one step more than private cloud. Properties, same. Properties, same. Different, different requirements. Customized tailored policies, dedicated resources, end-to-end -end control. Usmania will have its own end-to-end -end control on their cloud. Kakit University will have own control on their own cloud. Right? All these clouds will be connected to a master cloud called as community cloud. Right? In single word, connecting one or more private cloud is called community cloud. Connecting one or more private cloud. Private cloud together is called community cloud. Again, there are two ways of deploying. Again, on-site, 
outsource. Kakatiya University doesn't have infrastructure. They have outsourced their cloud, their university cloud, all the education, all the marks, all the you know uh, certificate issuance is is been tracked in that cloud, software cloud. They have a Kakatiya University software, and where the software is hosted in IBM. IBM, IBM Bangalore is hosting Kakatiya University cloud, whereas Usmania has its own infrastructure. They are hosting within their own premises. We call them as on-site community cloud. One, one cloud hosted in with Usmanian premises, another cloud hosted in IBM Bangalore premises. Both these clouds are talking to each other. Such type of clouds are called as community cloud. Community cloud are only when common requirement exists. Common requirement. Common requirement. Community cloud. We are working in a community. Salesforce is a community cloud. That means, right? One private cloud can talk to another private cloud in Salesforce. If you want, if you want, then only. For your requirement, yes, one bank account, I should be able to transfer money to another bank account. There is a requirement. Community cloud. We call them as community cloud. In single word, right? One or more private cloud coming together for a common sharing or a common requirement is called community cloud. Example, banks. Banks are community cloud. The community cloud is hosted by RBI. Universities, community cloud hosted by UGC. Police departments has a community cloud hosted by one centralized police home ministry. Home ministry holds host a cloud that connects all the different police department of across the states, right? So that the criminal information can be shared. Bihar police versus Mumbai police, right? They want to share information. How they can share today? Through email, through letter, right? Digitally, through a community cloud. Secure information because it's private. Through a community cloud, right? So what is a community cloud? Private cloud, one or more private cloud with a common requirement, right? With a common requirement coming together is called community cloud, right? This, this is also a private cloud. So private cloud and community cloud both are same. In private cloud, only one. In community cloud, more than one private cloud sharing resources. Next, public cloud, write down. Public cloud. Next, write down. Public cloud. Public cloud. Public cloud. What is a public cloud? Let's understand. What is a public cloud? Let's understand. Write down cloud resources available for general public usage. Cloud resources available for general public usage is called public cloud. Is called public cloud. Also called as external cloud. Also called as multi tenant cloud. Cloud resources available for general public usage. Software for everyone. General public. Hard Google Drive for general public. Google Drive is a public cloud. Storage, it's a infrastructure as service, public mode deployed. Google Drive is offering a storage cloud, right? Gmail offering an email software. It's a software as service public mode it's a public cloud gmail google drive are public cloud gmail is a software right whereas google drive is a storage solution both are available in public we call them as external cloud that's good right now let's see the properties what are the properties of a private cloud characteristics number one homogeneous requirement what is a homogeneous single requirement 
you you use gmail only for one thing sending email receiving email common policies whether narendra modi uses gmail and you uses G you are using gmail do you think narendra modi will have a special privilege in gmail no you and narendra modi are both equal even though narendra modi is a prime minister of india right but in gmail narendra modi will not have any special permission any special policies any special privilege no narendra modi joining twitter you joining twitter do you feel that narendra modi donald trump will have a special twitter account with a special policies no whatever the policies applied for donald trump and mr modi will be applied for you and me common policies no categorization it's a it's a public cloud in public cloud no separate security for anyone everybody will have a common policy shared resources resources will be shared homogeneous requirement single requirement twitter you come for posting a message and commenting on others that's the requirement i have i want to host a meeting in twitter can you do that no maybe there's a group call i don't know but no no custom requirements common requirement everybody has the same requirement right gmail everybody has the same requirement sending an email you don't like go for a private cloud narendra modi has a security problem don't take don't open a gmail account tell narendra modi to go ahead and finance a private cloud government will finance and they will securely communicate in their own cloud so whenever a cloud is available for general public usage we call the mass we call the mass public cloud public cloud will have common security policies right shared resources homogeneous infrastructure right leased or rented operational infrastructure economies of scale that is nothing but ads will be there because you are not paying anything then how the google is able to get the money to host a google server to host a 15 gb drive space right there should be server why the google should host a server who is paying the money to google ads advertisements your data they are they are selling your data to third party people from there they are getting the money and giving you the service we call them as economies of scales economy of scale here your right here your privacy is on stake even though they say that you know, we are following the privacy policies and everything right public cloud public cloud what is a public cloud whenever a software or a hardware or a platform hosted for general public usage we call them as public cloud clear the last one is a future hybrid cloud hybrid cloud right hybrid cloud what is a hybrid cloud one or more cloud composition of one or more cloud is called hybrid private will be talking to community community will be talking to public all the clouds three clouds talking to each other we call them as hybrid cloud what is a hybrid cloud write down the definition hybrid cloud hybrid cloud hybrid cloud right composition of two or more cloud composition of two or more cloud is called hybrid cloud composition of two or more cloud is called hybrid cloud also called as intercloud also called as intercloud example google is connected to salesforce salesforce is connected to microsoft microsoft is connected to amazon amazon is connected to yahoo yahoo is connected to oracle oracle is connected to ibm ibm is hosting a cloud right 
they are not interconnected to each other right i can drag i should be able to drag and drop something from a google drive to my salesforce possible not possible i'm i have a mail in gmail right i have a mail in yahoo mail can i drag and drop a mail from yahoo mail in a gmail folder or a gmail mail in a yahoo folder no because they are not talking to each other right whenever more than one two or more clouds talk to each other or compose we call them as hybrid cloud it's a future currently not available however microsoft azure and vmware v cloud is capable of hybrid cloud through this cloud application you can connect multiple clouds together you can connect multiple clouds together so what is a hybrid cloud connecting or composition of one or more cloud together is called hybrid cloud is called hybrid cloud is called hybrid cloud uh, so um, mr rupam is is like um, is community cloud is also kind of a hybrid cloud i mean because it's connecting community cloud is connecting only private it's not connecting public oh yes right right okay so whenever yeah. i have a public and private connecting okay, together okay. okay then i will say it's a hybrid cloud right any other questions what type of cloud salesforce is salesforce is a community cloud salesforce is a community cloud what type of cloud it is it's a community cloud what does the salesforce offers in the community cloud salesforce offers software and platform inside the community cloud salesforce is offering software as service and platform as service what platform as service force.com a development platform where you will be developing the software and that's what we'll be learning who can use you know i will build a software for university who can use all the universities can use community so you are building on force.com you are deploying that software on salesforce.com through salesforce they will access who universities you will you will not log into salesforce.com that software service end user work you will be logging to force.com developer you are a developer you have to have a platform as service platform where is the platform account let's see your practical starts from today itself right public cloud hybrid cloud and everybody understood what is a cloud how the cloud is working yes or no <laughs>